Hey guys, this is Kevin and Alex wearing a pretty cool labyrinth shirt. Look at that. We got on the Dirty Footstool Snack Fever. As I've said before, Snack Fever is a monthly subscription box where you get a multitude of Korean snacks sent to your door. Uh, this is the mini box that's only $12 a month. Quite a deal, I think, for the number of stuff that you get in it. And like I said, these are snacks from Korea for us to try. Let's see what's inside this month. Oh, oh I see something I like right off. We're going to go with this. I love these things. Yeah. Chicken macho. That's strange. Chicken macho. Isn't that like an oxymoron? Chicken macho, gallo macho snack. Fantastic wasabi, some type of wasabi uh, snack. I, I hate wasabi. Also try chicken macho uh, choco mojito, so chocolate. Mojito. Spicy something, some other word, and then uh, teriyaki ramen. But we got the wasabi ones. I'm sure these will be great. I hate wasabi. I like it. You want me to open it? <laughs> and a wasabi. That's what she said. Let's see what we got here. Oh, they're oh. air puffed. Like, uh. Yeah, the wasabi smell isn't that They're like wrong. wasabi Cheetos or something? Wasabi che Cheeto puffs. Oh. Yeah, actually, it's not that bad. It's not that strong. And if you imagined a wasabi flavored Cheeto, that is what you would get. Yeah. It tastes like wasabi Cheeto. They're good. Yeah, I like them. I thought they would be like really strong. It's got nice intense wasabi flavor at first, but then it mellows out and mm -hmm. you get like Cheeto aftertaste. Because on the package, they're way smaller and they look like something that would be hard. And usually something like that would be stronger, and I hate strong wasabi. Hmm. Well, those are good. Quite like those. And then moving on, we got two packages of... These? Feel it. Yeah. It's white heim, white hazelnut, and they're like a hazelnut roll cookie, it feels like. Maybe it's like a pocky stick? Yeah, well, it's going to be like a roll cookie, like, uh... Not the best way to make it. Well, you're supposed to open it the way... Oh. <laughs> it's weird that the package has you... Oh, okay, so they're break apart okay. little biscuits, and they will taste of. I don't want the one that you fingered. Did you wash your hands after supper? Who? Mm -hmm. So, hazelnut. Oh, that's weird. Mm, that's good. <laughs> mm. That is fantastic. Oh, um. Oh. It almost tastes like a, it's almost got the consistency of a, uh, one of those crappy wafers, the strawberry and chocolate and vanilla wafers, but the inside is very creamy and very good. Those are great. Very good. All right, moving right along. We've had these before. Uh, yeah. yeah, they're the biscuits with chocolate in the middle. You, yeah. 
took the last ones and these things are great uh when i was a kid they used to have um koala yummies Wait, which were the same strawberry. thing now nah, i'm gonna go with chocolate uh brown usually means chocolate oh and these things better. usually have chocolate in them anyway No, that's brown. Remember, you're missing cones in your eyes. Puh. So what do we got here? Little biscuits, and that most definitely is not red. They're pretty bland. Yeah. They got chocolate in the middle. It's not a great chocolate. They are rather bland. They're not great. The last ones we had were way better. But they're not terrible. Yeah. Either. I'd snack on them for a little bit. They're decent. Moving along, a Blueberry some cheese. type of bar cookie, 40%. So it's a 40% oh. type chocolate Cookie bar, I guess. Right there. It, lo it looks like an Oreo. Yes. An Oreo bar. Some type of chocolate bar with cookie. A cookie chocolate bar. So, Twix. this is... It's an... Maybe it's like a Twix. So, this is what we have. It's some type of... Yes, bar. It looks like a chocolate. With cookie on it. It looks like a chocolate, um, just a bunch of chocolate Rice Krispie Treats. It looks like a poopy. Oh. Yeah, it's a chocolate cookie bar good. I like it. I think it's bland, too. No. You don't like chocolate, though. It tastes like, um, crumbled up Oreo cookies without the filling and a bit of chocolate. I like it. I would definitely eat more of those. Now we got... That's since good. 1979, buttercream, or butter coconut, sweet biscuits. Mm -hmm. So... Coconut flavored biscuits. I like biscuits and I like coconut, so I can't imagine that this it's, is going to steer us wrong. It's like a clubhouse cracker, kind of. Yes, those are what they call biscuits. It's got some sugar. I think that's sugar. coconutty look I think that's to it. Oil. Hmm. Mm. That's good. Very light taste and texture with just um, not a huge amount of coconut flavor. I can't even taste it. Just the it, right no. amount. That's good. I can't taste it. Maybe there's too much chocolate flavor in my mouth. Oh. That's good. A nice light mm -hmm. snack. And then finally, we got two pieces of candy. They're um, mint. Mint. Look at the leaf. Green leaf. Well, just because there's a green leaf doesn't mean they're a mint. Maybe it's lettuce. I don't think it's lettuce. I don't know what it's... That picture doesn't look familiar. Spearmint, maybe? Or... I don't know my... Oh. Green leafy stuff. This is what it looks like. A green ball. A flavor. What's it taste? It's watermelon. Oh, that's good. 
It's the it's like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Yeah, it's like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. That's kind of misleading. It has a leaf on it. Usually a leaf wouldn't make you. Well, I don't think that's watermelon, son. I think it's green apple. Which would explain, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, I think those are supposed to be apples. It tastes like a green apple Jolly Rancher. Yeah, it does. Green apple Jolly Rancher, so... Overall, good box, but... I'm kind of disappointed there wasn't anything crazy in it, like seaweed chips or anything like that, but... Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, and they were kind of bland, some of them. There you have it. Straight from the horse's mouth. Snack Fever. Check them out. Bye, guys.